Good evening, everyone. Uh, just a quick update for you guys. As you probably know, Virgin Orbit suffered an anomaly and a loss of payload. This is a significant setback for the program, but Matt Archer at the UK Space Agency was able to give us a statement. Here it is. Hi. Um, evening, everybody. Um, as you all kind of already have gathered and possibly kind of had uh, announced on the live stream, the second stage had an anomaly. Um, we don't know what caused that, um, but in effect the rocket did not reach the required altitude to maintain its orbit or deploy the satellites, uh, and therefore the mission was unsuccessful. Um, over the coming uh, days there will be an investigation involving kind of HMG and uh, various bodies including Virgin Orbit to make sure we understand what caused that technical failure, um, and again we'll work out what to do next following that. Um, at this stage, there's not a lot more that I can say. We don't know what caused the anomaly, and that's the data review that will be ongoing from now. Um, but we've achieved the launch. We set out to do that and create the conditions for horizontal launch at Spaceport Cornwall. Um, so lots of positive things have been achieved. Um, and yeah, whilst it's obviously disappointing not to achieve orbit, we'll continue to press on. Launch is really important for our sector, um, and yeah, we'll get there in the end. Has the rocket now come back down to Earth, and where did it fall? Uh, no, not yet. Um, that's still being worked through by Virgin Orbit and they'll be tracking it, but the trajectory uh, puts it over and kind of main bodies of water, so it's completely safe. What does this mean for the UK space industry? So many hopes. I think it kind of, it says that space is hard. Like we knew that this had a risk of failure. Um, we knew when we started the project it had high risk. Um, launches don't always work. We saw the same forecast with the Vega C rocket. Um, and again, we'll We'll pick up with Virgin Orbit and think about what happens next.